Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review for Danger Street number one. This is a new book from DC Comics. Uh, I am very excited to talk about this one, uh, mainly because of the creative team. So let's uh, let's take a look here, uh, and we'll talk more about this book. Uh, so in this book, it's written by Tom King, with art by Jorge Fornes, colors by Dave Stewart, letters by Clayton Cowles. Uh, I, I mean, you guys know that I'm a big fan of Tom King. I I, I always review and, and read a lot of the books that he's putting out. And he's had some great stuff in the past few years, including m more recently, uh, uh, Human Target, uh, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. So in this book, inspired the hero by the heroes and villains of First Issue Special, Tom King and Jorge Fornes, return for an unforgettable maxi series that reimagines the characters and their stories. So that first issue special is actually a series that DC used to put out a long time ago uh, with some more obscure characters. We'll have a few short videos uh, talking a little bit about some of those characters that are in this book. So stay tuned for that. Um, a multi-character, multi-layered crime drama starring some of DC's most obscure creations. No one will see it coming, but everyone will want to see where it goes. Uh, in this chapter, joining the Justice League is a goal for any superhero, but what happens when a quest for membership takes a sinister turn? Join Starman, uh, not the Starman you may be more familiar with, uh, Metamorpho and Warlord as they look to prove themselves worthy by summoning and defeating Darkseid in battle, uh, which sounds like a terrible idea. Soon they'll learn that calling upon a new god never ends well, and the world is headed for a crisis as a result. Uh, the journey to save the day will be a treacherous one filled with princesses, knights, and all kinds of monsters. Each person the heroes in, each person the heroes encounter plays a crucial role in this sprawling yet gripping narrative that is a little bit silly and a whole lot dark, but very, very cool. Expect the unexpected with a supporting cast of the Men Hunter, Lady Cop, the Green Team, the Creeper. Uh, the Danger Street Kids. There's just many, many, many uh, characters that come back uh, if you are familiar with that issue, uh, with that series. So let's uh, take a look at some preview art because, I mean, when you have Fornes on a book, you definitely don't want to not look at some preview art. <clears throat> so in terms of the story, uh, King does a great job paying homage to these classic characters while kind of updating, updating them a little bit for modern times and then to fit this story. Uh, this means that, you know, fans of the characters will recognize them and be able to connect with them. But the story and their motivations, like, they'll be a little bit more uh, leaning towards what we the world we live in today and then the DC world that they live in. Uh, this makes for a unique and engaging tale. Uh, so if you are a fan of those characters, hopefully you will be satisfied. Uh, here we see some of the Danger Street kids uh, and Lady Cobb, the introduction to a lot of these characters. Uh, this is very interesting. It it really felt a little bizarre, uh, and like like the description said, a little bit silly. Um, as far as the art, Jorge Fornes is uh, very reminiscent of classic comic books, but uh, with a contemporary twist. Uh, this allows us to look at the art and have and it and it has this iconic style from the classic eras, with you know bold lines and dynamic compositions. Uh, but a lot of modern sensibilities, in my opinion. So this really adds an extra layer to the book uh, that will appeal to fans and will draw some interest uh, for both modern and, and, and classic uh, fans. Uh, and then let's look at the last few pages here. You can see Fornes is not messing around. And also Clayton Cowles with the lettering really nails it. I love the composition of the shot. I love the event, the, the action. The Creeper is such a weird character. Uh, yeah, overall, this is a great book for fans of these obscure characters, uh, but that want to see them in a modern setting. It has a unique and engaging story uh, and a mixture of art, which feels both classic and contemporary. So really, really something I feel like you guys need to pick up uh, if you're really into that stuff. Uh, I did ask my co-hosts like, if they could help me out uh, with some information of these characters. So like I said, there'll be some short videos on the channel coming soon. Uh, so let me know what you think of this book. Uh, and as always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here on the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.